Alright, welcome to the out, uh, Outpost Workshop here. Yeah. What we're going to try to do here is just knock out a quick little face. Nothing fancy, nothing hard, just something quick. Then we'll just kind of see how it goes along. Yeah. I just started doing this, not the coloring part, but the video and YouTube in part, so you just have to forgive me on that mess. I'm still trying to figure it out. Do as you go. Learn as you go. But I don't know if you can see that now. Yeah, let's see. We're going to go ahead and leave notice right there. Take that nose back, back into that eye socket. That looks like you got a forehead and nose and mouth. Yeah. But, uh, you know, think about if you come here to the Outpost workshop look at video. It's not always going to be on wood carving. Might be on glass etching or yeah. wind chime making. I'm going to, I got some of those cut up, let out the shop. I'm going to try to make. Yeah. A little wood burning, not really, because I'm not too good at that, but. I try to mess with it sometimes. Make some birdhouses. Get a little more. Don't look like anything yet. Just taking this and I don't know if you can see it coming right in beside that nose. Oop, got a little too high there. Turn that thing over. Stay in it. I'm trying to stay wide at the bottom. This is not really a structural video. Just a, it's a rainy day in the house, and I'm practicing making these videos, and so I got to do something. Yeah, just give me a little place for his eye socket to go, both sides. I don't know how long this video is or will be. You can see me carve it right here, so <laughs> I promise it won't be no hour or too long. I'll edit all that out. <laughs> I can see better if y'all can. Yeah, okay, so what we're going to do down here. No 
don't see what I'm doing. I'll find out when I look at the video for the first time. We'll kind of give it a little. I personally like that. I tell people do the left side first. That way it's easier to match up the right side. If you're right handed. That's just my opinion. Right now I'm just kind of working around that nose. And bring that out. I might do a couple of how to videos, but I don't think so. I know there's a lot of good, better carvers out there and I am what might watch this and just get a good laugh. But, hey, whatever way he gets the job done. I mean, I'm not here to set a speed record or anything else. Something don't look right. Mm, a little bit better. That goes in here. Yeah. Get that little triangle out. Bring that out that nostril around the, I don't know if you can see it not, around the nose. Hope you can see it on the uh, video better than I can. Alright. Just don't go crazy. It's just a good little draw. Thing down here. We'll put it on mouth in here yeah 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 give it a little bath let's see make him look a little angry little fella yeah that would blow my mouth deeper I know I don't talk a whole lot in these videos, but I'm not here to talk. I mean, if I got something to say, I'll say it. Like I said, I'm new at just trying to put these videos up so I'll learn. It's a basswood, but don't, it's not the softest basswood I've ever had. But it feels sharp and good, so. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Now you get that little look. 
doing. See if we can get a little bit of a chin here. And this is this little uh, carb is going to go on my toolbox that I carry when I go to Carbon on Monday night with the, the Davidson County wood carvers. If you uh, want to learn how to carve, that's the best thing you could do is get involved in a carving club. And I happen to think we have a, a good one. And, Anybody wants to come by and check us out, well, they have a Facebook page, Davidson County Wood Carvers. You can go check out, find out all about them, us. Yeah. Give him a little chin down the rear. Need a little clean up. I might have to cut this video to a couple. It's getting kind of, I don't know how long it's going to be. I ain't got much left. We'll pretty much have this young fella put away. Let's see if we can't give this young man some eyeballs. We go out the house so we can see. Alright, we're not going to do no real, not going to do no fancy eye. Well, if you can just see it, I figure out a better way to show you than that. We're just going to start over here with a B tool. Go up and around. Kind of make that top one on the left side. Then we do that right side. Let's figure out a way to. Oh, maybe that's it. Uh, enough light, maybe? We'll see. Then we want to go straight across. Straight across. I don't know if you can see that yet. Then we're going to come in here. Put a stop cut right across middle there where that eye is. Come up here to make the stop cut. Like that. Give that upper eyelid some dip and curve. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's starting to look like you got some eyes there. Okay, we're going to give a old great big guy. Just go in there in that corner. Hardest part, I guess, is trying to get them to come out looking the same size. So don't be afraid to use a pencil or whatever to measure.
get that cleaned out. See you back right there. And if they're not, that's all right. Yeah, he's got a nice ball. Well, you go. There you go. I'm putting them in this little brush here. Yeah, that didn't tell me right. That little piece snapped off, but eh, be all right. Yeah, you have to do about I'll leave there. Gotta get a wink on. I can't see that. Been going long enough. All right, so let's just see what this looks like. Okay, for the first video we done, we'll try it and see. If I had fun doing, I hope you had fun watching it. So, who you who? Well. After that last video, I come went back and uh, did a little touch up on this thing, and did a little, few more details. So it turned out too bad, but uh, ain't much to paint on. I'm gonna go ahead and paint his eyes. I got a couple of little ones here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint their eyes real quick. Just kind of show you. The paint sometimes makes a big difference. I don't like the paint. But Sometimes you just have to, just to make it look better. I noticed I kept getting out of the picture last time. So I'll try to stay in the picture. It's not me, but what I'm doing. Right. When I do eyes, I just go ahead and paint them full strength first thing and let them dry. That way, yeah. these are some little eyes right here, as you can tell. <laughs> and so they'll get. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the last one. If you didn't, you probably ain't watching this one, but, uh, just bear with me. I'm trying to learn what, I mean, I watch a lot of them. I thought, why not me try it? I mean, worst I can do is, uh, make a jack, make a fool of myself. 
I'm used to that anyway. People, people that know me know me. I can, I can uh, be goofy sometimes. Man, this thing is teeth. I forgot about them. Take a lot, Frank. So you got a nice painting. You want to learn how to carve something, especially faces, just get you some little pieces of scrap wood like this, little small pieces. Practice them, just, you know, just, just practice on making a nose, making an eye, making whatever. I don't know if I had a third one. Yeah, there you go. You got them wild full of teeth too. I must have been in teeth carving mode that day. Well, that's another day you ought to do. If uh, anybody that likes videos, you need to check out my best friend's uh, YouTube page NC Prospector. That's it. That's who you look for NC Prospector. You got a lot of stuff on there, a lot of coins, different things. Yeah. Well. Forgot to do that, didn't I? Try not to get too much on it. And little things like that, you know, you do, and uh, you just give away to people. But, hey, many grandkids would do that. Would would uh, be going Christmas shopping and have a bunch of little Christmas uh, Santa Claus brooches and carving. They'd take them and just give them to some kids we see. You know, just uh, I'd get to the grandkids, let them give them away, or we'd give them away and. I gotta learn to anyway. All right. And there's like putting a lot of intention or detail in the paint because these are going in the giveaway box and this uh that'll go on my carbon box so.
I have her? Where's that book? All right, he's been drying a little bit, so what we're going to do is just take the blue. The one looking one way or the other, you put them looking that way. He's going to be looking off to the right. More there. See? Figure out how. I'm gonna do the same these others real quick. Make you look the other way. You kind of mean looking anyway. Yeah. You look like you do be looking that way. I know I read the little other paint on him. Basically, all you gotta do is dive, then I'll put a. Lean seed oil on it. Maybe, maybe not, but. Well, you about seen the best part of what I can do. So, he's, he's coming. Uh, let's just paint a little bit of flesh tone on these things real quick. I've got just a beige and just a little bit of red off to the side. I want to have just a tint. I don't want it real strong. Just a real thin coat right there. Yeah, just enough to get a little that's that is a giveaway piece. Paint and everybody. Some people paint, do such fantastic job of painting it that sometimes the, the paint is better than the carbon. But a, a good painting, paint on a carbon will make or break it. You can take a great carbon and mess it up, paint it. I mean, And if you're painting like this and you get a bit too thick, just go back into all water and just go back. I mean, you can thin it out. Hmm. Is that all three? Yep, we might as well put a little bit on this, and that's one we want to do anyway. Secret formula mixed up here. Mm -hmm. 
just wanted to give it just a touch of color. Let's see that help it make it stand out from just the wood. Yeah, that's all.